From the upper Manatee River to Tampa Bay, Joe McClash has seen the signs of red tide, not as bad as Pinellas County, but enough to be concerned. It's important that people from the whole community realize this is just not a waterfront property owner issue. McClash is a former Manatee County Commissioner, now part of Suncoast Waterkeeper. He's watched as old infrastructures like wastewater systems allow sewage spills into our water and storm drains that allow rainwater to flush into the bay, along with nutrients from lawn fertilizers. It's everybody's problem, and it's going to take everybody to request our elected officials to set the policies in place to correct the wrongs of the past. More than 250 people joined in a discussion on red tide and harmful algal blooms. Suncoast and Tampa Bay water keepers hosted the program with Sarasota and Tampa Bay estuary programs. After 40 years of fishing local waters, Captain Scott Moore has seen the changes. Everything is connected from the, from the manatees to the turtles to the groupers that grow up in the bay. It's all connected to you and I swimming in the water. It's all about water quality. From red tide to lingbia blooms that block off oxygen to plants and animals, it's discouraging. But Dr. David Tomasco says hope isn't lost on Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay and Sarasota Bay need to go on a serious nutrient diet quickly. We need to do a better job on our wastewater. We need to do a better job on our stormwater. We need individuals to do a better job of uh, reducing their individual nutrient footprint and we need permit holders to abide by their permit obligation. And he says change can start with each of us by making sure nutrients don't end up where they shouldn't be. We can't be spending money on stormwater retrofits and oyster restoration projects and then two miles down the road someone is actually spilling 60 to 200 tons of nitrogen into our bays. So everyone needs to play their role. Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Yeah, he said everyone needs to play their role, so what could we all be doing to keep those nutrients from going into waterways? Well, one thing you can do, according to Tampa Bay Estuary, is pick up after your dogs. Yeah, that runoff, their material there, feeds the nutrients in the water. Also, have your septic tank inspected, if you have one of those, so that it's not leaking nutrients into the water. And stop or reduce your usage of nitrogen-based fertilizers.